welcome to the first episode of Cook Chat yeah, Chill. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> I actually can't even lie. I'm so excited to introduce to you my first guest. What, 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 what? Tells. <laughs> All right. Oh, <okay. laughs> I didn't know it was my turn. I'm sorry. I'm, no, no, I'll it's fine. I'll stay in the background. You've got to keep all the bloopers. Of course. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> bloopers are the best bit. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, go on. <laughs> Everybody, welcome. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, we haven't even started cooking yet. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Sorry. You ready? Are you are you? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm composed. You sure? Mm -hmm. You want to take a minute? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm professional. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna hear lies today. <laughs> Cooking, no, because you make me laugh. I'm sorry. Right. Welcome everybody to the first episode of Cook Chat Chill. I'm so excited for my first guest. How do I explain you? In a nice way. No, no we have to be stuff. real. Yeah. He's like my brother. Mm -hmm. You know, family. The one that gives me a lot of stress. Uh, you do, yeah, yeah, you do. You make me laugh a hell of a lot, but overall, he's a brilliant it? guy. It is the one and only Tails. Hey, welcome people to the channel. Um, first of all, I would like to say thank you for bringing me and allowing me to be the first. He had that to means be. actually a lot to me, do you know what I mean? So, he had to be. yeah, no, that's very special. Thank you. Introduce yourself properly. Um, well, for those who don't know, my name is Tells. Um, I run a podcast called Straight Out of the Box. Uh, make sure you actually go check that out. My Instagram's at straight underscore OTB and Straight Out of the Box on YouTube. Check it out. I've got three episodes on there, so yeah, man, just check it out. So, we had to take a little break because. How do I explain this without sounding weird? Like he's made me sweat. <laughs> explain that, please. Yeah, I have to because it's going to give up. <laughs> that that sounded so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you have that friend or that person that when you're with them, all you do is laugh, and it's that laughing that comes from like inside, and your pores just can't take it. <laughs> That's what's happened to me. I've spent time to like fix this face and make sure I look really good for the show. And it's melting and he's not even been here for like five minutes. Oh, you've gone quiet now. He's gone quiet Oh, now. sorry, sorry. Right. sorry. No, it's fine. I didn't know I was meant to be involved. So please introduce to us what you have here today. All right, so today, this is one of my most epic meals that I've ever made. And I think it was one of those things where basically it means so much to me because if anyone that knows, this was my go-to meal like every single day literally so what we've got here is corned beef yeah anyone that really knows knows that if you was in uni yeah <laughs> if you was in uni this was the go-to meal especially on a very very small budget this was the go-to meal so corned beef we've got here Sorry, spaghetti. Now, usually, I would do the pasta thing, but because I went to act bad and bougie, I thought, do you know what? Let's do spaghetti today instead. Do you know what I mean? So, spaghetti. Right, and obviously, we've got some avocado, you know, little stuff to just have on the side. Do you know what I mean? Um, put set that down there. Yeah, the, obviously, everybody knows we need a little bit of seasoning, you understand? Like, we're not about just salt. This is a all. seasoning household. I'm just saying, I'm just letting no, them know just in case. You have to do a disclaimer. Just in case, because obviously, if anyone knows, my first yard, I was living in dorms, and let's just say that my flatmates didn't know seasoning, yeah? That's what I'm going to put out there. <laughs> seasoning people. Yeah, so... Oh, wait, wait, can we just clarify what seasoning is? Because some people think seasoning is like salt and pepper. No, well, technically is... I know, but what do we mean by when we say seasoning? Well, listen, for me personally, when I mean seasoning, I mean like stuff that gives your, your, your food a little kick, a little bit of that flavour, mm -hmm. that bit of that, what the French call it, je ne sais quoi, you understand? <laughs> yeah? So, <laughs> wait, hold on, 
So, we've got some ground black pepper. Do you know what I mean? Give it a little bit of that cake. A bit of that garlic powder, you know, give it a little bit of that flavour. You know. A bit of this curry. Do you know what? Lord knows, yeah, I don't know why I got curry powder, yeah, but I just knew it was something that you just threw in your thing. Do you understand? To, to be honest, curry powder is a staple in my house. Let, it's let, like let, my yeah. like growing up with my mum, that's like a, it's also almost like the pepper. Yeah, yeah. Now, of course yeah, we yeah. use black pepper, but that's like the level of just can you know how often we use yeah, it. So yeah. I'm here for the curry powder. Yeah, so madras, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's what I've known to be fair. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know any other curry curry powder seasoning. Right, and then we've got the all purpose seasoning. I ain't gotta explain that all purpose people, all purpose. Then obviously Pe I'm when surprised I'm, by this one. Yeah? Ketchup. See, now people... <laughs> listen, when I mean budget, like, I don't think people will understand that like, in uni... Oh, I didn't even let people know. So, for those of you who don't know, I went to a university in Leicester called DMU. Now, now everybody knows De Montford. Gee. Right. So, I went DMU. See, now obviously it's built its reputation over mm -hmm. the, the periods of time. But I would like to say anyone that was in my era, and I'd say a year above, and still to come, we was the one that made that uni jump in. Anyone that knows would know. We made that uni what it is. So if anybody knows contrary to what you're saying, please, you know, send me an inbox. Yeah, like anyone from let the era know. of, see, now I'm going to show my age, but I don't mind. Anyone from the era of, let's say, 08, 09 to about tw 2012, we was that era that made that uni what it was. Just say, if anyone can tell me otherwise, then... <laughs> Obviously, hit her up in the comments. Can you tell right. me why the ketchup, so, though? So, the ketchup... See, people. some people use tomatoes, everything. You see this? You see when I couldn't afford, yeah? Like, <laughs> when I couldn't afford the, the, the big bunch of tomatoes. This was the only thing I had in my house. This, this one time that I made this for the first time. And I was like, rah, put in the season and I put in everything else, but it's just not the same. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Not the same. And then I thought, rah, I looked in my fridge when it was only this and mayonnaise up in there. When I mean I was on a budget, I was struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I was struggling. Now, the struggle was real. So I just thought, do you know what? Let me draw for the ketchup. And I thought, let me just throw that in there. And you know what? That's been my go-to ever since. Literally my go-to ever since. I don't put nothing else. Listen, when, when Faith... When Black Wanderers... It's fine, they know me it. as Faith too. Oh, they know you as Faith. Yeah. Okay, so when Faith tries this, she's gonna, her palate's going to open to a whole other world. Ketchup, remember this. Ketchup. Then obviously... <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. um, obviously I didn't know. Yeah. See, onions are a topic of discussion for me. Right. So I love red onions. I use yeah, it for everything. That's fine. But some people don't like red onions. Do you know what? So I've got you both. Do you know what? With me, even though the tastes are slightly different, I'm not really fast. You can use the red onions or you could use the, the original white onions. So it's up to you what you want to do. But uh, I don't know. I probably might use the white ones today. Mm -hmm. Save you the red ones since you love Thank the red you. Ones. Do you know what I mean? See, I'm considerate like that. Anyway, so that's my meal. Now, just to clarify, this is not my favourite meal, but this is a meal that's carried me a long time through uni and so this is why it's one of the most important meals to me and I still make till to this day. You know when you're lazy you can't be bothered to do or cook up a whole big food. What, 20 minutes What do you call it? What do you call this dish? For me? Look, first of all, yeah, you see people <laughs> like Jamie Oliver and all of that where you've got sunny, sun dry, sun sweet. Flipping Hawaiian and it's just mango. Just tell me what it is. It's mango. Stop trying to give these other nicknames for other food. Call it what it is. This is corned beef and spaghetti pasta. Simple. You understand? Nothing too complicated. People want to try to customize their food and call it like Larry and Tom and, <laughs> and uh, do you know what I mean? And these times it's just called what, a hot dog. Get out of it. Anyway, corned beef and spaghetti pasta. That's what we're calling it. Yeah? All right, all right. I respect that. <laughs> Right. So I am your co, like your co, we call it sous chef. I'm your sous chef, so I'm here to help and assist with cutting mm -hmm. or just standing there, 
So if you need any help, you can ask. <laughs> well, now that you said that. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> sous chef, your co chef, like, below you chef, not like not, not co chef. chef. Obviously, you're yeah. not going to be cooking it for me. So I, I can help get you the utensils. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. that. I'll get you the utensils, whatever you need to cook. So, uh, people understand this, yeah? First of all, cooking, you make sure that you wash your hands. So, like, we've all come across somebody that's hands are, are not being too, too clean, you understand? And one thing I do want to say, guys, especially that men, listen, you see once you finish using a toilet, like wash your hands, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Don't just come out the toilet and think you're going to come straight and then cook up my food in front of me and act like <laughs> we, we did not see you not wash your hands. No, 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 no. You, you wash your hands properly. If you, yeah, thanks. Wash your hands properly is very, very important. Do you know what I mean? We don't want to catch no anything. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah. So, um, yeah, can I rest this on there? Yeah, you can pop it here. Right. So, first off, we're gonna start with the white onions. So, we want to chop off the ends. I've got the food bin here, so I recycle. Like I do food recycling. So okay, that's cool. When you've got rubbish, yeah, for me. All right, no problem. So yeah, so we start by cutting off the ends. one here sorry mm -hmm. right see now what I like to do is put them in two and see that how, how much of the onion do you take off because some people take a whole like layer some people just take that you know no, the, do you know what fill. funny enough I'm funny like that I actually take off a whole layer okay I'm me too uh, me too. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm uh, not confident just with that little yeah, yeah, slimy yeah, yeah. layer yeah. do you know what I mean so I literally, uh, what do you say, pop it in that bin? Yeah. Okay. So I, remember I'm your assistant, so I'll hold it here for you. Okay, cheers. So, yeah, no, I've, I've always been funny like that. Even, like, people try to say, oh, do you know what, no, it's fine, so long as you've got, like, the main bit there. No, mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. That other, yeah, that's all got to come off. It's all got to go. Do you know what I mean? So, for some people, like, if that's how you cook your, your stuff, then, yeah, that's kudos to you, but... If I seen you cook it like that, I won't eat it. I'm funny like that. I'm sorry. Sorry, people. It's alright. You, you need to know so, how your onions are peeled. This is, this is not like, you know, a, a shot to anybody that whose house I've been over and not eating food. Have you actually, is that actually happened where you've gone to somebody's house and ordered you food and you said no? Yeah. Because... And did, well, they, did they know the reason why you said no or you just said you weren't hungry? No, 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 no. I, I just said I, I, weren't, I weren't hungry, to be fair. And you know these times when your belly is rumbling as well, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I was there, like, you're, you're trying to cut, like, your time together short so you can hit that chicken and chip shop. Yeah, I Do know. Do you know what I'm saying? So I just like to cut off these ends because I hate these ends as well. Well, yeah, they're not supposed to be... Alright, sorry. Where did you learn how to cook? Uh, do you know what? A lot of the stuff, it was self-taught because you know what i'm gonna keep it 100 like my mum tried to like get me to come in the kitchen but you see me like my attention spans awful in it mm. so it was like uh a, a thing where do you know what mum like obviously for people that don't know um i'm african my mum my mum's ugandan and so like my mum used to cook like stuff like matoke um for those that don't know what matoke is you want to explain it to me, matoke is like green banana, but it's like, how they have it, it's like mashed. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I've never liked, do you know what, to be fair, and this is no disrespect to, to Ugandans, there's just like, stuff like matoke, kwan, and everything like that. You don't that. like kwan? What type, okay, kwan is a semolina based, sorry, let me explain this. Y yeah. Because otherwise, then I'm about, I'm about to get really emotional about the fact that he doesn't like Kwan and you you don't know what Kwan is. Yeah. So Kwan is a very typical dish from the, mostly East Africa. It's a semolina based dish, um, and you basically pound it into how do you explain it? Like a like a tough substance. It's not it's not runny. It's not flaky. Yeah. It's almost like pounded yam. I mean, that's the equivalent. Equivalent, yeah. Basically. It's not the same, but that's yeah. the equivalent. Yeah. So, for him, and that's like a, a staple. 
It's our yeah, that is a, yeah, that is a, yeah, that is a staple. So for him yeah, to yeah. say he doesn't like Quan, I'm know, actually that's quite. Assault, a, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so like, no, but no, wait. Go. I actually want to call my mum and say, "Mum, I've got this Ugandan in my kitchen, and he doesn't like one." That's hurt me. Why? Right. Okay. Do you know what it is? I think for me, like stuff like corn, it's just the taste, but the texture for me, I've just never liked it. I've but never... what type of corn have you had? Because also, FYI, mm. there's different ones. I think there's like three versions that I know of. There could be more, but what's there's the, three the versions. One? There's like, I, I, I call it like funny names. So there's like black one, yeah, which yeah. is like, I, that, it's like a dark one. brown. Yeah, the dark brown one. Mm -mm. Okay. That's, okay. Out of both of them, well, because remember, I only know of two. I know the white one. Which, yeah, but this is where we're going to. Yeah, right, right, so. Ugh, slow down. Go on, go on, okay. no, go on. So there is the black one, mm. which is like a brownie type. And I have to agree, I don't like uh, black one. For me, it's a very old school food. Mm. And I even say to my mum, like, that's old school food. Mm. I don't like the taste of it as corn. However, mm. I do love it as porridge. All right, no, we'll get into that. I'm gonna let you, okay. I'm gonna let you carry on. Second version is, it's almost like a creamy beigey one. Mm -hmm. And that's the most common one that you'd find when you go to like the shops to buy semolina. Yeah. It's like a beigey cream yeah, yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. That one is, boom, I love it as, we call it nyoga, is uh, porridge. You can have it as porridge, you can have it in the quan. The third one is the very, very white looking one. Yeah. Which we call like, I call it the mono mono one, which is like the white, white one. Mm. And I have to say, out of the three, it's the most bland tasting semolina yeah, that you could true. even imagine. Yeah, that's true. It's just, I'm not a fan. <laughs> it like, do you, if dry was a taste. <laughs> Sorry, can I swear? I don't what do you have? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Sorry, so, I'll beep you out. Yeah. If dry was a taste, I would say it tastes dry. Not yeah, feels yes. dry, tastes dry. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, I, yeah. yeah so, for him to tell me that like he doesn't like Kwan and he doesn't like Matoke is really quite. He's actually basically just trampled all over two Ugandan staples. And in, and in the process, you've managed to offend Northern Ugandans, who obviously Kwan is our thing, and Motoke, which is, so yeah. yeah. So, I, I will get back to you about if we forgive you. <laughs> because I think we need to, I need to talk to my fellow Northerners. Yeah. And see what we're, you know, because we deal with things as a tribe, isn't it? So we're going to see what we do with you because uh, this might be uh, a bit too far. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, back anyway, to cooking this back, um, this dish with no name. Do you know what? Um, wait, no. Call it what it is. Corn beef. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, you know, I generally was expecting that he's gonna, you know, I want to call this whatever. When we were talking about this, you said you're gonna call it the struggle meal. That was no. Okay, he said, all right, all right. So now going by what she said, this was a struggle meal because I was actually struggling at the time. Do you know what I mean? So, you, you know when your, stu your, your student loans come in and then you think you're balling, balling, balling and you just start to splash out, no sense at all and then you realise, right, you still got a few more months until the next pay from your student loans and your grant comes in. So, <laughs> it was a struggle mode. This is what I was li living up. Obviously, just in case my mum sees this, <laughs> you know what it was where I had to <laughs> lie a couple of times, yeah, I'm good, you know, I'm good. But, anyway, do you know what? What I, what I didn't get to say is, now, nah, see me, I'm funny when it comes to my thing. So, even though once I peeled an onion and everything like that, I have to wash it. I don't know. It's something in me. I have to... How do I turn this? Ah, let me go. I have to wash it. I'm sorry, people. Wash your teeth. Is that because you don't want your eyes to water or just cleanliness? Cleanliness. I, I don't know what it is. But with these, I just have to... Um, I just have to wash them. So, what we're going to do... Oh, I see, you don't cut all the way, you don't slice all the way to the bottom. No. Nope. Don't slice all the way to the bottom. I like to. Okay. Uh, that wasn't meant to go like that. But, 
I don't like to cut all the way to the bottom. Why? I don't know. Do you know what? I've, people start to realise on this show how things that I'm very much funny about. I don't know whether it's like, and I don't have OCD, by the way, but it's just a certain way that I like my, um, I like to chop my onions. I don't know why. I couldn't, I don't even have a full reason as to why that I cut it like this. I've just been cutting it like this for, for years. So you're going to use a whole onion? Yep, a whole onion. A whole what? white onion as well. A whole white onion. So basically the idea of this Don't you is, find that the, the taste of the onion is quite strong? The white onions is quite... Um... Because that's the reason why I... I mean, if it's a burger, I don't mind a white onion. But if yeah. it's cooking, I generally like the red onions because I find them sweeter. Yeah. And I find the white onions quite harsh. And yeah. if I was going to use a white onion, I'd just use like probably half of it or depending obviously how much I'm cooking. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I probably would very rarely use a whole onion. Mm -hmm. I just realised you're left-handed. Yeah, do you know what? You'll never forget, I'll never forget the time, yeah, that mum, you see, I love my mum to death, but I've got to expose you. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> right, okay. So, so obviously the idea is the general consensus is that for some reason, that if you're right-handed, that's the way to be and everything like that. So my mum used to try and actually get me to try right right-handed. Yeah. She didn't want you. To... But they say that left-handed people are supposed to be smarter than right-handed people. Um. I remember there was a study years ago because I remember when I was a kid, I tried to start to become like I wanted to be a left-handed person. Yeah. Because I thought that was gonna mean I was smart. <laughs> but it didn't work because obviously I'm right-handed. <laughs> yeah. Like like so. You, no, no, like literally every day, like she'll get me to come home and she'd, all right, right, so we're practicing your writing. And I used to say, Mum, like it's not happening for me, you know, like I'm left handed, let me be blessed and <laughs> yeah, with my left handed, what God gave me, do you know what I'm saying? And after a while, she started giving up and said, you know what, yeah, I, I still love you, same way, son, but I think right's the right way to go. Um, so now that's chopped. Do you know what? And funny enough, what people need to understand, you see like these things that fly off the board. You can't have them. No. Even though the place is disinfected and it's clean. I do disinfect before I clean. Before I, sorry, before I cook. Before we throw, we throw that in there. No, but, but I mean, this is the way no. you cook. If you don't, but that's how you are. The funniest thing is, yeah, because obviously I know you're a clean person. So, it's, but I'm saying, if I'm cooking this at someone else's house, you see all of that? In the bin, straight away. So I've got the kettle boiling and... He's asked for a plate, so right, I'm yeah. interested to see what you're going to do with this plate. So obviously I've got the plate. Um, basically what I'm going to do is empty out the contents of this into the plate. Because what, Why? You, what you will see is that um, I don't like to empty out my stuff, my corned beef, like as a whole, into just straight into the pot. I like to chop it up in pieces so it makes it easier to just throw into the pot and then add my seasoning as I go along and everything like that. So... Uh, yeah, which this is gonna be like the most gourmet corned beef that I've had. Right? Most, oh, I've got no, so just no, yeah, be back, be, be right back. So, yeah, so now we're gonna open up our tin of corned beef. Now, do you know what? First thing I do want to say, yeah, people use the key, don't be used, be bush and use a knife like your back. Why are you saying something like back. that? No, do you know what it is? Because who, who, who's like, Bush? First of, all, first of all, yeah, we're talking to Faith because Faith was Bush. She said, You really open it like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were exposed the whole truth. But you're not the only one. This is the funniest thing is, I've had a lot of females. So basically, I've had a lot of females like come to me and say, like, Raw, because I've told them that like, I'm making corned beef or dinner or whatever. And they say to me, like, Raw, how do you open it up with a tin? Because I've like, I'm Okay, thinking, look, right. It's not because I can't afford a tin opener or anything. I just I'm in the habit of getting a knife and popping open a can with it. Right. I like to Right, but when there's a key with it, you use the key to open up your Listen, smarter, not harder. Yeah? Alright, I can see this one. Yes. Yeah? Alright, cool. So I don't know if you can see. So you just lift up that flap here. Right. See? Can you see? Yeah, I can all see. Right. Cool. And then we Listen. I know, works. I know, I know. No, no, this is for the people that don't know okay, how to open it. My, because my mum opens it like this. She's, she opens it the right yeah, way as well. The right, because look, look, how much energy did you exert? Hardly any. Right. But you still want to be bush. All right, all right. Yeah, and this old hab, Listen, I'm going to be bush the day I die. <laughs> and I'm proud, okay? <laughs> bush and proud. 
So people, this is the proper way of actually opening up your corned beef. Uh, is that still going in a bit? Right, so, uh, do you have like, um, like a normal knife that I can just scoop around? In this top drawer. Right, so what you are really doing you just going around the edges just to help get out the corned beef you get you know you want to get the last little remnants because you yeah. say That's corned beef food. is not cheap you understand <laughs> it's actually yeah. not for like a struggle meal for one yeah. tin it's actually there not go. there you go do you know what i mean so you might want to get out all of that yeah, all, listen, the, all the bits listen when i mean i struggled i made sure i got everything out of it you have to do you know what i mean so it really makes me angry when i see people throw away like you know, like baked beans and there's still beans in the yeah, bottom. It's like, like, what are you you're playing too, You're too rude, do you know what I mean? So normally what I do, I just lay it on the side. Just, I'd say, cut three chunks. So it just makes it easier for me, like, when I throw it in the pot, because obviously what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw, put the pan um, on heat, low heat for the time being. Just let the onions fry. Obviously, I would have put vegetable oil. Um, right, so... What I'm going to do is, so first off, we're going to use some vegetable oil. Doesn't really matter which oil you use, just so long as it's not coconut oil, because it makes it taste funny. And trust me, believe me, I've tried. Um, <laughs> <laughs> trust me, I've, I've tried. So I'm just going to put just not too much. Just enough. Uh, place that back here. How do I turn on your? So you just basically twist it and hold it and sorry, push it down and twist it at the same time. Push it down and twist it. Yeah. So which one you? Yeah. But you're gonna go this way, anti-clockwise. Oh. Anti-clockwise. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Okay. I have paid my gas bill. So. No, no. <laughs> no because you're right. Me, any time I use a cooker, I always think to go clockwise. So yeah. the anti clockwise. I think this one is like a, I think they've done it to like safety. If there's kids, they assume as you would write yeah, do yeah. to go clockwise. Yeah. So I think they've done it like that to try, oh, you know, okay. just an got extra. You. Got you, be got safe. You, got you. So what I do want to do is bring all my seasoning to that side. So can't forget the ketchup. I can't believe we're using ketchup as a seasoning. Listen, I'm telling you, listen. Okay, maybe that might not fit, so I might just... You can take it off. Are you a person that measures um, seasoning? Listen, measure what? Listen, black people don't know measuring, you know? That's, no, a, that, that's a big statement. No. <laughs> Na name me one African household or Caribbean household who actually measures by eye. Because <laughs> you know, we go by the taste. Like, obviously, I know for other cultures it might be a bit different. You might be like a teaspoon, um, a tablespoon. No. Listen, you just chuck the tin in, do you know what I'm saying? And we just go by uh, literally. So, make sure I just swirl that around. I have to interject. I agree. Um, I don't measure anything. I don't even have those measuring tools. You know, they have those <coughs> scoopy things. And... and I'm not trying to make this a race thing, but tell me one, just one. If you're not a chef, other than you being like a proper chef, like that's your your career, that's your maybe one that's actually got the measuring things for each seasoning that they they got. Please tell me, leave it in the comments. Yeah, let us know if you actually measure and you're from a African or Caribbean yeah, background, because I would be interested to know. I haven't met any. There you go. Mm. There you go. So wait for that to warm up a little piece um the kettle is off isn't it yeah all right cool that's great so basically all it is is what we're going to do is throw the onions in first once we've thrown the onions in we let that brown up everything like that i might actually throw in a little bit of curry powder just to give it that little bit of an aroma um then throw in my corned beef uh and then you see the rest of it as we go along okay now normally this is what I do. So normally I just take look what maybe this little bit and test it. I do this. I kind of do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. You see, I want to hear that that pure sizzling sound before I throw the rest in. Talking so, about sizzling sounds, um, confession. When I'm warming up food in the microwave, I have to hear it. When I take the food out of the microwave, I have to hear it make noise. 
Well, like I literally, what? yeah, I literally, yeah. no, but I will take out the container, put it by my ear, mm. so, and I want to hear the <laughs> otherwise it's not ready. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, I'm more that kind of person, especially with meats. Yeah, at, with or meats, like yeah. pasta uh, and uh, yeah. rice and but stuff. But then again, like, I leave, like, I don't know what, what is your, um, your microwave is, but for me personally, like, with my microwave, I think I've got like a 900. Mm. Listen, I, every meal goes in there for at least three and a half minutes. I want that, that thing piping hot. So by the time I get to it, and it's been like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. I know, I know we're good in it, you know what I'm saying? Literally. Right. Do you know what? Let me turn this up a little piece. Right, I'm sorry. So you know it's just going to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not no rule chef. But what I like to do is add just a little bit, not too much. And that's of the curry powder. Yeah, that's of the magic curry curry powder. Just to give it that that, that smell. So obviously you guys won't be able to smell it through the camera, but obviously basically. I can tell you what it smells like. It smells like onions getting good, you know, like they're coming alive. Right. They're catching some flavour. Now, what I normally do is, at this point, I'll lower it down to about, well, three. And that's reason because, is because I'm going to throw in the, um, the corned beef, like so. I'm going to leave that bit out here. <laughs> <laughs> After scooping it out, you're just going to leave it on the plate. <laughs> yeah. Right, so basically what I like to do is like kneading, but it's not really kneading. Yeah. Just, just to just break it all up. So I don't know if they can see that. So I like to just break it all up. Apologies for the noise or the scratching sounds, screeching sounds. It's a real kitchen sound, sir. So Alright, so because it's on a low, so now once I've done that, uh, let me just throw that on here. This is where the magic happens. Your ground pepper is already open. Mm -hmm. So now this is what I'm talking about by eye. Yeah, you see that? You see me? See, now people are going to think, wow, that's a lot of... A lot of black pepper. Right. Don't worry. Are we... you going to start sneezing? That's how you know it's no, a lot no, of pepper. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Do you know what? Pepper don't really affect me I like see, that. See, it's making my nose itch. Oh, okay. You might not want to get too close. It's fine. Then we've got the garlic powder. I love garlic, by the way. Oh, garlic's probably my favourite seasoning. Like, yeah. one of my favourite seasonings. Then we've got the all-purpose seasoning. You gotta make sure you, you know, you cover that, and then you. So you don't add any extra oil. You just let the natural oil come out of it. Then exactly, all the natural oils come out of it because obviously you've got the. People don't realize you've got the juices from the onions that also help the actual contribute to the cooking of the corned beef. Mm -hmm. But and the reason why. Obviously, I know people are going to look at this and think, do you know what, you put a lot of season, so there's a lot of calories in this as well, but there's also a lot of calories in actual oils as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And this is where, instead of adding, like, whereas you might look at it, or they might look at it and say, look, it's a bit dry, this is where the ketchup comes in. Up a little piece, I'll probably put it up to four, five, actually, we put it six. So what you do... I'm sorry, people, but you got to... Right. So you use the ketchup in lieu of tomatoes? Yeah. Okay. Because, you know what, and this is another reason why, and especially if you're from 
an African household. We, we, we've got a lot of stews that are very much tomato based. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so me, I don't like seeing tomato in my food. Why? I don't know. It's just everything. Like, and I know people are gonna say, "Well, oh, you don't like a lot of stuff," but like, this is. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm, like, I'm just giving what you don't like. But like, I don't know. You know, like seeing bits of my food. It's just like when you buy a drink. I don't like pulp in my food. I mean, in my drink. Sorry. Okay. Like, I've just always been. I've always been funny like that. Give it a little taste. Now, hold on. First of all, let me just put this on. <laughs> I feel like I hear a rant coming. Listen, first of all, yeah, one thing I do want to say, people, when you're cooking, don't be the ones to be taking from the spoon and then put the, 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 the actual spoon back in the food, you know? Because I've seen that happen enough times and you think I still want to eat from you now after that. You're rude. Can I? Sorry. There was an episode of Come Dine With Me where I think the dog came onto the table and licked the, the spatula yeah. and the host saw it and didn't think anything of it just like put the spatula back in yeah. the pot and carried on eating and no, then served the food to people you're rude. but the thing is if you can do that on national TV yeah, yeah, what are you rude. doing when there's like no behind TV crew there? Exactly, yeah. behind closed doors you really have to be careful where you eat and whose house you eat from because people really are different the one thing you, you, you want to know and I think this is key for me, and people don't realise, yeah, but I've, I've started noticing that I've been doing that, and it's bad. Obviously, this is not to fail because I know she's a clean person, but you see me, you see if I come over your house, the first thing I want to do, I want to use your toilet. We can, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, judging by how your toilet looks and your bathroom looks, will let me know whether I'm eating at your house or not. So will I pass the bathroom test? Oh yeah, we, we yeah no, because we gotta be fair across the board. You know All right, I mean? no problem. We can do the bathroom test. Do you know what I mean? Oh, is geez. it taste? Is it to your liking? Oh, do you know what? You will see in a second. <laughs> and this is why ketchup is such a big ingredient because. Like people went from like so a this is what squirt number three squirt number three. Oh, you want to take a picture? No. Sorry. Oh, okay. So what I like to do is uh, so yeah, you can just sit with the sit the kettle there. Obviously, you open up the kettle. Have you got the uh, the the strainer? Yeah. You wash yours first? Yeah, always, mm -hmm. always. It's like rice? Yeah, literally, just like rice. So normally I like to take, again, this is all about I. Um, this is all about I. Well, because it's me and you, uh, I'll take about that much. Okay. So like I don't a, know, close, a close handful? Yeah, a close handful. A close grip? Yeah. Just say it. And do you snap yours in half? Yeah. Okay. So normally, okay, normally I like to snap it in half like that. Mm -hmm. Bring it under the sink to wash. Because you know what? Like a lot of people don't realise there's a lot of starch that comes out of this and from this, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So people, whether it's rice you are cooking their corned beef with or um, pasta or like spaghetti pasta like this, Always, always wash, you know what I mean? See if you can get a good angle. I pour really about halfway of the pot anyway. Not too much, and then if I need any more, I can just pour more later on. Um, now, first things first, what I like to do, salt. Don't, do you know what, to be fair, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't understand why I've been taught to put salt, but I just put salt anyway. I put salt too. Honestly, but Thanks. I don't know what the real reasoning is behind putting salt. I just know whatever I do for my rice, I do for the rest yeah. of my pasta yeah. and everything like that. So I don't put too much. Yeah, just about that. And what I also do, I add a little bit of oil yeah. as well, so that the stuff don't stick, stick together and everything like that. Some people use butter. I use oil, to be fair. See, I use uh, butter when I'm doing rice. Right. And then when I'm doing pasta, I do oil. Do you know what? Funny, 
Funny thing in a little bit more. Funny thing is, I use oil for my rice as well. The only thing is that it's only yesterday. Um, yeah, you said push down and then turn in it. Yeah. Uh, can I use this? You can use spot? whichever one you want. So usually, like, do you know what? To to this day, I still don't know what this is called, but. <laughs> like, this is how you know I'm not really in the kitchen. Like, like I'm in the kitchen, but if you ask me what each of these utensils are, I would not know what they are. But anyway, um, I usually just do this, you know, just swirl them around, just try to break up the pasta because you know once you boil um, hot water, like things tend to stick together, especially like with pasta, especially if you're not giving it a right stir or swirl around. So I've left it on low heat and free. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a lid? Yeah, of course, in the middle drawer. Yeah, this is the Oh, that do. there you go. And so, yeah, Should I, I just, lid for that one. Yeah, it's going to be a silver one. I think it's this one. And then, usually, I'll give that about 10 minutes and I'll just let that simmer. Um, so, then from now, uh, let me just clear this away. I have. Um, I have an idea of what we can do while we wait for your pasta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's no problem. We can do the bathroom test. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. So, okay, let me get you in the shot. Hold on. <sighs> Go on then. So, right now, uh... Yes, straightforward. Yeah. Straightforward into the bathroom test. Now, alright, so these are the signs, yeah? Oh gosh. So what you want to do is, first of all, <laughs> first of all, what you want to do, you want to look in the toilet okay. and you want to look around the room. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? So right now, I ain't gonna lie, Faith is doing very, very well. Like, she's, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's, she's doing well. So now, if that's not the test done, so if that's clean, you know, because yeah. remember, you got to be thorough with your thing, you right. understand? Because you, you never know what they could be hiding, where, and so then you look inside the bathroom. Right, so right now, she, yeah, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you a strong, strong name. Why, why am I not getting a 10? Why are you not getting a 10? Yeah. Uh, because obviously, like, you, you see the little rim around her. Right, my, yeah. okay. Yeah, but that's a 9, but you, you're still good, I can still eat, at, still eat at your house. Oh, thank God. Do you understand that? Right. So, Is now, my sink alright? That, that's what we're getting onto. So now, the sink area is nice. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? The sink area is nice. It's good. Very, very clean. For, for me, I didn't expect any less from you because I know you're a, you're a neat freak and you're a clean freak. So, but always check the rim, around the rim, in the toilet, the bathroom, and you check the sink area. And you know what you also do? You also test by the smell of the bathroom as well. You understand? Right now it smells very clean in here. is this I haven't come up with a name for it yet <laughs> but in here I have questions I'm gonna ask my guests mm -hmm. and I think you were a good person to start off with but... yeah sure that's no problem so the gist of it I just pick one out and then yeah, and you give it to me and then I will read uh, it to you. go for the very bottom and you have to I, listen the one thing about Tails is that he's very honest Mm. And that's one thing I do really love about you. Mm. He is sometimes can be too honest. Mm. Well, I mean, <laughs> no, no, but at least yeah. at least you know with him, you're never gonna get like a lie. He'll mm. just tell you straight. So I know he's gonna be honest with these questions. All right, question one: What products would you stockpile if you found out they were going to stop selling it? What product would I stockpile if I found out they were going to stop selling it? Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Because we did the bathroom test, yeah. Because <laughs> we did the, look. So basically, because we did the bathroom test, yeah. I think. Listen, whether it's shower gel or or, or soap or whatever, anything to to oh you know cream up the skin or I mean to wash your body. Sorry. Hygiene, that's that's the main thing. So anything to, to wash your skin with, any any product, it doesn't matter which one. Just Have so you had some bad experiences with um, the opposite sex where 
you maybe had to I mean we were just having a conversation off camera oh, after yeah. my bathroom test and mm -hmm. I passed yeah 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 I passed so would you eat in my house yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Okay, 100%. so have you ever, like, dated a girl or were about to be dating a girl and it wasn't... Do you, do you know what? To be fair, it wasn't me more so dating. This was basically, you know how, like, when your your bridging's linking, or linking someone or seeing someone, quote-unquote, because people don't like to use the terms linking, but it's still the same thing anyway. So he was seeing this girl and obviously she was free. This was one weekend, and but she was with a friend. So basically, he hollered at me and said, look, obviously, I'm going to go check my bridging. Um, like, how about you come along? Because obviously, he didn't want to be like a third girl, so be the quote-unquote wingman. So I said, you know what? Yeah, why not? I ain't doing nothing. So I get there. So now, obviously, when we get there, it was a long journey. I'm not going to say where we was, but we was in South London. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so... <laughs> yeah. So I'm just saying, innit? Yeah, I'm not gonna say the particular area, but because obviously, just but say it. South London, yeah. Just say it. Oh, it was Ladywell, right? Okay, so, so Catford Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I get there, but obviously, because it was a long journey, because sitting in traffic, I'm dying to need to go to toilet. Do you know what I mean? So now, so I said to the to the girl, listen, can I use your toilet? Because literally, I've been dying. So she said, yeah, go through. Now let me just stop there. I don't think people should be just comfortable to send to allow technically I'm a guest to just walk up in your bathroom unless you've really looked inside your bathroom because <laughs> right, so, so So I've walked into this bathroom now now my as long as I've known it to be, like bathroom, it's like we went into face, like your bathroom is meant to be white. Yeah? Like the, the, the ceramics is meant to be white, as we all know it. Like anybody of this century, your bath. How have I walked into your bathroom and inside your bathroom is looking dark skin? It looked like a mixed race bath. It looked like some. I don't know what to explain this thing, you know? But. Inside the bath was dark. Dark. Like, you know, like, it looked like, you know, like, how we all do, we all shed skin, you know, when we, 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 we wash ourselves, you know, people that wash themselves know, do you know what I mean? So this is why you regularly clean out your bath, because you know what stains and everything you might leave. This one looked like this was a good few months of shedding skin, just building up. Like, I mean, it was thick. It looked like it was part of the ceramics. Do you understand? Like, it looked like there ain't no Jif, Mr. Cleaner, or any of them products, there was nothing they could do. It was past that point, it was beyond control. Like, and then this is what hurt my soul, because it's not only that your bath was dark, when we've gone over to, how's the rim? Like, like you know you got a toilet seat, how's the I rim? I myself. <laughs> how, like, how's the rim dark? Like, how do you get the rim? Now, I don't think you understand what I'm trying to... <laughs> so, you're trying to tell me you're laying your cheeks on this toilet seat. You know, it got to the point where, like, I walked out and I said to my brethren, like, Rod, this is, this is your style. Like, this is how you're really moving. Because, oh, what I didn't mention, she's got a door. And that's what made me feel some type of way because you're trying to tell me you're bringing up your door in this kind of environment. And I didn't even also add, there was a little bit of water left all over in the, in, in the bath, like to say you just copped out the bath. <laughs> yeah. Because you had you guests did, coming did, round. Did, did, <laughs> so you're trying to tell me you, you, you scraped your skin in this water. Listen, look, so I said to my brother, is this what you're really doing? Like, I'm bearing in mind, like, so that I can paint the picture, she was a good looking girl, don't get me wrong, yeah, she was a good, like, she looked like one of them girls that care a lot about her appearance and out of road and how she looks, compared to how she looks, like, or like how her house looks, so, she's like, fuck what my living situation is like, I'm, this is the, the fleek eating, you know what I mean, like, she's looking like one of them Instagram girls, listen, 
let this be a public service announcement, yeah? Mandem, I don't care how good she looks, if her bathroom looks like a trap house, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Then, uh, listen, your priorities need, you need to do better, you understand? You need to actually do better. That's all I'm saying, but that's just my little rant about what's going on anyway. You get us a ball, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, so. It's a little bit scrape, scrape, scrape. And what a lot of people do, some people like to have their, um, their avocado raw. Like how to eat that, but with me, I also I, I need a sprinkle of salt in it. Obviously, pardon. Yeah, I sprinkle salt in it. On avocado. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of salt. You're the first person that I've known to season avocado. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like to sprinkle no, salt. Salt and a little bit of pepper. Like, do you know what? What I'll do is, um, do you know what? I'll use this. Put that one there with the salt. Back that way, I'll get it for you. Oh, yeah. And do you know what? I'll even let you do it. Just dab a little bit of salt there and then see how much difference on, on, on the avocado and see how much difference. And tell me what you think. Just a little bit, a little sprinkle. I'm just gonna put some on the side and yeah. dip it in. Okay. Wow, your face, your expression was, <laughs> was like a bit of taste. I'm not a fan. Oh, serious? Mm -mm. All right, so what I'll do for I've you... tried, I've tried it and it's not for me. So what, what I'll do is... No, but I'm here to eat the way you eat it, so... The way I eat it? Yeah. Uh, well, you're going to have to eat with the salt, though. Mm-hmm. Nah, I <laughs> I see your face, your expression. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of water, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can see pepper. You doing it the Yeah, you said peppers that way, innit? Yeah, I can see pepper. A little bit. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's going to have to do, because... Yeah, yes, I need, need to much to restock. Work right now. Yeah, need restock. to restock. <laughs> right, so... Uh, well, I thought we need to start the serving. Please, uh, I'm hungry. Let's start off with you first. Now, do you want... Do you want a lot? Not too heavy on the carbs, but heavy on the meat. Okay, so I Please. Yeah. That's my nice. yeah, that's perfect. Yeah? Yeah. I'll give you that. Thank you. Have you got um ah it's right there. Smells powerful. Oh yeah, that's from all the spices that I mm -hmm. use. That's good. That's good for me. Yeah. Let me bring you one. Right. Yeah, cheers. We'll do a swap. And then you can just put as much avocado as you want in your plate. Okay. Oh, and another thing I want you to, once, once I've served this out, mm -hmm. is let them know what I've brought you today. Yes. Yes, yes. I've really, yeah, so I've really in. started enjoying it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I started about 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. Okay. No, see, obviously people, you, well, once she introduces it to you, you'll get this, oh no, wrong one. Take this last little bit. 
It looks like a picture, man. Let's <laughs> give it a tear on the Look at you all chefing and stuff. Happy. Right, and then buen appetit. Thank you very much. Oh. Alright, so I have a little tradition mm -hmm. that I have to go cheers with somebody before I oh. eat. Okay. Cheers. cheers. Alright. Thank you for cooking your corned beef and pasta, but aka known as the struggle meal. I'm actually really impressed. And all the flavours are hitting me at different times. That's actually really good. Thank you very much. This, listen, this got me through uni. I'm telling you, that like, literally got me through uni when I was moving foolish and spending money anyhow, going out, thinking I was a baller, buying bottles and everything like that. And I wasn't, I was never a baller. That's really good. Thank you very much. So we're gonna log off the camera and actually sit down and eat now. Oh yeah, for real. Because. <laughs> <laughs> but before I go, I have to say it's been a true pleasure to have you as the first guest of Cook Chat Chill. No, it's been a pleasure as all mine. I couldn't have started it with anybody else. All right, thank you. Thank you for bringing the energy, yeah, the yeah, laughs. Every, every single time. And thank you for cooking better than I thought you would. Wow, wait, what's that meant to me? So, uh, join me on the next episode. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, wait, I am wait. going to. Wait, wait. What? No, we can't just end like that. What do you mean better than, than you thought I would? I just, I mean, the season, uh, you know. Oh, oh, okay. You know. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you, I get you, I get just you. Just thought it would have just been like a bit of salt, pepper, maybe a bit of garlic and boom, done, innit? But, but just to see you methodically cook, like, you know, you have to have things like this, like this, like this. Yeah. You're more of a, of a cook than I thought you were. Oh, yeah. And that's yeah, not yeah, to say yeah. that if you could cook, I just yeah, thought yeah. you'd just be like, Psh, yeah, just chuck, chuck everything down. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what I mean. You, you've done no, better than Thank I you very you. much. So thank you. No problem. Till next episode. Till the next episode. Bye. Peace.